This tutorial is going to cover how to do a full rhinestone design from start to finish um, by starting with a pre-made piece of clip art, like the clip art that we have in the Action Illustrated collection. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is go and get one of those pieces. I'm going to clip on the template browser. This is only uh, going to be how you're going to start if you have the Instant Designer. If not, you would just be importing in your piece of clip art. Um, I actually, most of our designs uh, may be a little bit too complicated to easily add rhinestones to it, but um, I do know that in the actual graphics we have the kanji, this kind of stuff where it's simple, clean, it's going to be perfect for adding rhinestones to it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the Eternity right here. It opens right up into Corral. I'm going to size this thing. I think I'll go ahead and make it six inches wide. There we go. And um, just to start off, I think that this is, um, I'm going to ungroup it. I want to make sure that I, oh, I think it's actually welded together. I'm going to go ahead just and break it apart so that I have two separate pieces like that. Um, first thing here though, I am going to just take this. Let's go ahead and add the rhinestone outline. So it's going to put rhinestones right on the outline. This is a stone size 10. I think that it looks quite nice, so I'm going to keep it at that. I'm going to go ahead and make it red. Uh, zoom in on this. You are going to notice that my corners are not matching up perfectly, so this is where we're going to go ahead and use, let's select this, we're going to use this, um, the rhinestone corner tool. So we can actually apply those yellow dots to our corners. I'm going to go ahead and hide my rhinestones so I can actually see my corners. This is just going to give us the cleanest look and make the rhinestone design the most um, legible once it becomes rhinestones. Alright, so I'm just adding these dots at the important angled points, definitely down here and I think right down here. So let's bring my rhinestones back to be visible. I'm going to go ahead and click on my pick tool so it adjusts everything there. See how perfect that really, really looks nice. Um, I see that I have a tiny bit of gapping right there. That's no problem. That's where we can actually bring in our rhinestones tool and I hold down my control button. This allows me to just kind of slide these along just a bit so I didn't have one large gap right up there. There, I think that shape looks really, really nice. This looks a little close to this one, so I can actually just move this. There we go. And I am going to do the same thing on this one. Let me go ahead and hide those stones for a second. I'm going to use my uh, corner tool again, and we're going to go ahead and add our points, our rhinestones, directly to our corners. Let's go ahead and show our stones again, and I'm going to hit the pick tool, which will tweak everything. There, that actually looks really, really nice. And now I'm going to use my um, rhinestones tool here and delete, hold down my shift key and delete one of these where I had the um, overlapping stones there. So once I have this, that actually looks really nice. Let's just go ahead and group that together so it's one. And now let's add some text to our design. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Bezier tool again. Click on one side, hold down Control, click again so it's a perfect line across. And let's go ahead and add text. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my rhinestone size to a stone size 6. And then let's go back to the text where we will tweak that. Let's make this say Eternity. And let's choose a different font. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and go with the... Uh, Serif bold. Let's apply that. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, let's see if I can make this just a, a little smaller. Let's try it to do it 40 millimeters high. Ooh, that looks actually pretty sharp. So I, I like the way this looks. I don't really need some tweaking. I see I have one overlapping stone here. That is not a problem because we're going to go ahead and break the gem object apart. So now it just becomes gems on vector lines. That's where I'm actually going to come in here and tweak this. 
Um, I am going to go ahead and use my very favorite tool again, the rhinestones corner tool. I want a rhinestone right in this corner. And I'm going to put another one right in this other corner. Hit my pick tool to set it. Perfect. I think that that looks just about perfect. I'm going to go ahead and group my eternity together. Hold down my shift key, collect my kanji, and let's go ahead and center those so they're perfectly centered together. Align centers vertically. Oh, I had it not so bad. So there we go. I'm just going to adjust my paper so we can see it nicely. There we go. So this was a, a vector design from our collection. We went ahead and threw rhinestones on it. And then using the rhinestone text feature, we added font to it. I think this looks great. We would send this to the rhinestones cutter. And it will give us two separations. Perfect. So um, here we would have the larger red stones. And here are the smaller black stones. And so that is how you would take a pre-existing piece of clip art and add rhinestones to it through the easy rhinestone designer.